Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another album review. Uh, Paul at Super Deluxe Edition has recently done an unboxing video looking at the Rory Gallagher Live at the BBC or BBC Sessions um, box set, which I think is 18 CDs. So I thought I'd do something a bit different. I'm going to look at Rory Gallagher at the BBC, the vinyl version that's also coming out at the same time. This is called the best of Rory Gallagher at the BBC because obviously they're not going to fit everything in but it is a three LP set so six sides of Rory Gallagher um, so let's show you inside this package because it also comes with an album size booklet so here it is so this is a look inside the best of Rory Gallagher at the BBC on vinyl as I said at the start I'm also hoping to cover the 18 CD box set as well. So this is a three LP set featuring 11 previously unreleased tracks, BBC radio session tracks and live at the venue London 1979 in concert, all mastered at Abbey Road Studios. So it's a triple album, which as you expect is three LPs with six sides with all the tracks listed on the back. It opens out into a three panel set with some great pictures of Rory on the inside and on the kind of right hand side gatefold um, there's a picture of Rory Gallagher at the Argre Whistle Test. It also comes with a booklet which I'll show you now. And this is the booklet Rory Gallagher at the BBC. So some great pictures again of Rory at the Aubrey Ozzel test. And then there's a story behind the tracks that were included on this album. Some black and white action shots from Ulster Hall in Belfast on the 5th of January 1984. More text from Colin Harper. And then it's these pages here from Wedding Rock Festival in August 1980. I was there. And again, then we've got the credits from the last two pages and some great action shots as well. And another picture of Rory on the back of the booklet. Uh, the albums themselves, they're not in polyline sleeves, so you can change these if you wish. Uh, but they're on the BBC transcription kind of label, for those of you who've got BBC recording on vinyl. And the other two are exactly the same, so basically to simulate Ampeg and the amps that Rory used is yes, the last one and Fender amp on this particular one um, but they're all they're all in good pressings so that's three albums six sides and you can never have too much Rory Gallagher that's the best of Rory Gallagher at the BBC and this is the three LP vinyl version so that's the best of Rory Gallagher at the BBC. This is the vinyl version um, and it's superb. It's two people in the Now Spinning Magazine uh, Facebook group, um, who I'm close friends with now, kind of said to me once when they were asking, we were talking about Rory Gallagher and, and I had a few gaps in my Rory Gallagher collection, I have to admit. And I was th you know, thinking, what do I need? And both of them said, literally at the same time, you can never have too much Royal Gallagher. And as I've filled all the holes in my Royal Gallagher collection, they are so right. So this is essential um, purchase, as is the CD box set as well, which I still may um, do a video on. One of the things that um, listening to this and for those of you who might be kind of like um, on the fence about any of these sets, whether it's CD set or the vinyl one, is when you have something that says previously um, released, obviously, because some of the stuff has been released before, I'm tagged on the end of you know remastered versions and deluxe editions. So there is some crossover, but where it says off-air recording, which usually have, gives the feeling that somebody has sat there in 1972 literally recording on a mono cassette player with a microphone in front of a speaker off the radio, and it kind of like can unnerve you. Um, there's one of those tracks on here from 1973, Walk on Hot Coals, um, live at Sounds of the 70s, um, sounds fine. I just want to say that because this is from all different sources, all mixed together, obviously, more condensed on the on the vinyl version. 
Um, and it's just, it's just, it's just immaculate. There isn't anything on here that's going to make you think it's sub, sub quality at all. And this, the, the live gig, which covers three sides of the vinyl, um, which is at live at the venue in 1979 is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, one of my favorite tracks actually is also could have had religion from Sounds of the 70, 1972. Uh, but the venue gig, which is complete on here, is absolutely it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so I can't do anything else, but again, highly recommend this. If you're already a Gallagher fan, you're already really excited. The 18 CD box set is great value for the what the price and the amount of discs there are. If that overwhelms you, thinking how are you ever going to get around to playing it all, there is a two CD version. Um, but this with the booklet that you saw in it, great pictures and the great way this folds out with all the pictures and the rehearsal test, I think is a great way to go as well. And as Simon and Chris have already said, you can never have too much Roy Gallagher. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here. Remember to subscribe. Visit the website at nasbenny.co.uk. Music is the healer and the doctor. Buy a t-shirt. And all the check out the other merch we've got as well. Become a patron. Become a member. Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support and comments and feedback. Take care and I'll talk to you all very, very soon.